As memorials for Queen Elizabeth pour in from around the world, the Minnesota College is reflecting on its connection to Her Majesty. It happened during a study abroad trip to England back in 2000. That is when Professor Yvonne Klosek of Normandale Community College in Bloomington got up close and personal with the Queen. John Lordson spoke with her about the chance meeting. It was our a study abroad program. It was the first year of that program. Yvonne Klosik happened to be the lead instructor during that trip to Oriel College in the city of Oxford. It's a college that dates back to the 1300s. Her students were actually on a field trip to London when she got word that the Queen was coming to town. The day arrived and it was extremely stormy and, and dark and I almost didn't go. Convinced that she wasn't going to get close to Queen Elizabeth, Yvonne made an attempt to see her anyway, hoping to get pictures for the students. She set up on a horseshoe driveway, close to where the matriarch would arrive for a ribbon cutting. I was at the perfect place. Just by luck, by chance, how would you describe it? I would say it was luck. Yvonne's pictures show the queen arriving and then moving closer and closer eventually walking right up to her camera. I don't think the camera ever left my face through all of these pictures. And then I realized that my knees were shaking. Her friend from Germany gave the queen a compliment that allowed Yvonne to take one of her favorite pictures of all time. He said something very sweet to her. And the minute he said it, she just immediately just sparked. She got the pictures developed at a one hour photo lab. Knowing it was a rare encounter, Yvonne's Oriel College friends encouraged her to send a picture book to the Queen, which she did. She received a letter back from Buckingham Palace informing her that Her Majesty had seen the photos and was quite pleased. I think it's really very historical. With the Queen having a reign for as long as she had, everyone related to her, and I feel that we're all feeling the loss. In Bloomington, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. And Yvonne thinks that she got that close to Queen Elizabeth because Oriel College had tried to keep her visit low key. In 2002, she held an exhibit at Normandale called Bits and Bobs, which highlighted her photographs of the Queen.